<laughs> hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title today, I am gonna be recreating my childhood hairstyles. I do have three sisters. If you guys are curious to see who they are, you guys can just take a look at my old videos. Gabby and Jesse are close to my age and my mom would always do the exact same hairstyles on all three of us. And she would even dress us up as twins or even sometimes as triplets. If you guys know what I'm talking about and you went through the exact same thing with your older sister or with your younger sister, please make sure you guys give this video a like. Without further ado, let's just get on with these hairstyles. Oh my God, I need a brush. So I already detangled my hair. I'm gonna start off with one of the easiest hairstyles that my mom used to do on us all the time. She would always part in the middle. I do have bangs, so I'm not gonna be including my bangs in this video since I never had bangs. So she would make a straight line pretty much behind my ear. And she would do the same thing on the other side. Super simple. I don't know how straight this is. It's probably not even that straight. She would tie the back just to get it out of the way. Alright, let's see how this works. Um, this is actually harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, this is so hard for me. I don't know why. Alright. This year I'm actually letting my hair grow. And I'm just gonna let it grow until it reaches, um, I guess, up to my butt or until I'm like completely tired of it. I never let my hair grow past my shoulder and I would always, always cut my hair. I'm not used to doing any type of hairstyles at all with my medium length hair. Yeah, it is completely wrong. <laughs> this one is farther back and then this one is... No, this one is actually farther back. And then this one is like more lower. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again. This is so much harder to do on yourself um, than I thought it would be. Oh, and it hurts to take off this rubber band. I'm gonna try and do this one again and see how this works out. And I think I made it worse. <laughs> My bangs are just like in the way that I just can't seem to get it out of the way. Um, pretty sure most of you guys already noticed I do have crazy baby hairs in the front. And I did get that from my mom. My mom does have um, a lot of thin hair in the front and so do I. Uh, my baby hairs are super thin. So this is hairstyle number one. As you guys can tell, I have a lot of baby hair is just sticking out. All of this is baby hair, but all of this I think broke off when I just kept bleaching my hair. Um, so now it's just growing out super crazy. Oh my god, I don't know. This this one looks so weird. I, I really don't like this one. Let me just call Miguel over and we're gonna get his reaction. You already saw it. It looks so weird, right? No. Uh. It looks funny. <laughs> You're supposed to sit and then you're supposed to open your eyes. What are you doing looking at yourself? Huh? So what did you say it, it looked like? Oh, uh, you look like a little girl. The second one that my mom would do, if she wanted to be a little extra, she would just braid each ponytail. I'm just gonna secure it with a rubber band really quickly and then we're gonna take it off afterwards. ruining these hairstyles because she just keeps sticking out which is really really annoying she would grab the rest of my hair from the back and she would just comb it out she would tie it with a rubber band at the end but I'm gonna tie it with my normal scrunchie because the rubber band is definitely not gonna hold my hair at all I do have super super thick hair and it would it's gonna easily break that is it <laughs> you guys can hear rocky just like scratching on the door <laughs> you're like my little sister <laughs> your mom does it to your little sister too yeah she breaks really? her size and then she just and then she just puts it in a ponytail yeah this is why you say like Mexican childhood um, hairstyles because my mom always used to do this on me and my aunts would always do this to my cousins and I just found out that Miguel's mom 
does the same thing to his little sister. For the third hairstyle, she would do the exact same thing. She would um, separate it right behind the ear. Oh, I just remembered that my mom used to do this zigzag line on my head and see if I can do it today. I was finally able to do this damn zigzag line. Um, so this is how it came out. I don't think it looks that bad. Now I can begin doing the third hairstyle. I remember that I used to do my little sister's hair all the time. I always did Gigi's hair for her birthday or like any like special occasions like graduation. I would always do the exact same hairstyles that my mom used to do on me, on my little sister. When I do have my daughters, I would probably do the exact same hairstyles on them. They're super easy and they're also cute. Um, well, I thought it was cute when I was a child. My mom would do either two or she would do three. I think it looks better as three rather than two. I do have some hair sticking out there, but I'm not gonna take off um, the rubber band anymore because it does hurt when I take it off. just make a straight line down you put it together you comb it out a bit and then you just tie it together let me show it to you guys both ways I'm gonna keep it three on one side and I'm gonna keep it as two on the other side I guess you can call it hairstyle number three and hairstyle number four because you can do it either way I actually like this one this one is pretty cute you can open your eyes <laughs> this is two on one side and this is the third one and then it comes in six <laughs> That's it, that's all you gotta say. <laughs> Your mom already had a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> no, actually, this is super easy. And what you would do it for all, for all three of you guys? Yeah. Every morning? Does it look like it's hard? Uh, it looks like it's a little difficult, no? Yeah. Like it's time I mean, I wouldn't be able to do it. This is gonna be the last hairstyle for today. And it's gonna be a little more towards like the beginning of your ear so that is how much you would want and you would do the same thing on the other side um i always always used to hate this hairstyle because it would always make my head hurt because my mom would always do it super tight and another thing that really really bothered me was that it made my big forehead look massive. My mom did three different styles for this hairstyle. So I'm going to be showing you guys the three different ways to do this. I'm going to do the first one on this side. I'm going to do the second one towards the middle. I'm going to be doing the last one on my right side. So you guys are going to be able to see it three different ways. This morning was bad for me. Me and Miguel decided to go to Dunkin' Donuts today because I was really, really craving um, for Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. And of course, I couldn't leave without my glazed donut. With my sugar and my salt, I do have it in two separate containers. Miguel told me a couple weeks ago, and why would you put it in containers? Like, what if you put salt by accident when you're actually trying to put sugar? And I told him, oh, that's not gonna happen because I already know which one is the salt and I already know which one is the sugar. And he's like, all right, fine. And I put about a teaspoon of it and then I added about another teaspoon. I wasn't really like paying attention to what I was doing. When I look back at the container, I realized that I put salt instead of sugar and Miguel called it. He already knew it was gonna happen and he was completely right. I had to throw the whole thing away. I didn't even get to drink all of my iced coffee. I only drank about half of it. Also, I decided to finally take off my nails. Um, I did do my nails again after the last video that you guys saw. I decided to have shorter nails because I started school. I'm not allowed to have long nails. While I was cooking, the bounty was about to fall on the floor and I tried to grab it quickly before it hit the floor because I didn't want the bounty to get dirty. And as I was trying to grab the bounty, I slammed my nails on the counter table and I ripped off the acrylic nail. And it hurt so bad. My nails were bleeding. It got so hot and it was throbbing. It hurt so bad. There's still some blood inside there. Um, I thought it ripped off my nail completely. 
but when I look back at it, it just ripped off a thin layer of my nail. I decided to just take off all the nails because one of them already broke and I was already getting tired of it. What I normally do, I usually just grab a match card and then I just take it off that way instead of going to my aunt's house and taking it off the right way. When I was taking off one of the acrylic nails with the match card, I already felt that it was ripping off my actual nail nail. You guys can see right there that I actually ripped off some of my fingernails and it hurts so bad like if I was to like lightly touch it it hurts I always had a lot of baby hairs since I was a little kid my baby hairs never seem to grow out it always looks like I have a bald spot even though I really don't have one it's just my baby hairs that make it seem like I have a bald spot I've seen some people grab gel and then they like make um what's called like the little waves um, and I wanted to try that so I think I'm gonna do that for today I'm gonna go ahead and try to do the waves on my baby hairs and hopefully it looks good when I first met Miguel I did have long long hair I think it reached up to my butt it was definitely past my waist now I'm letting my hair grow out I'm not gonna cut it at all anymore I'm excited to finally see myself with long hair I haven't had long hair in about six years I believe as my hair is growing I realized why I hated long hair when my hair grows out my hair it does get a lot heavier as you guys can see I do also have like a white spot right over here I always had that white spot since I was a baby I believe when I did go to the doctors um, I would ask them like what it was and they just took a look at it and they said that it is probably just a birthmark um, you guys can see a scar right there because I actually got into a car accident um, I was the pedestrian and I had a open wound on this side and they basically just glued it together because I didn't have enough enough skin for them to stitch it I'm trying to see what I can do with these baby hairs this is the first time I actually do anything with them so let's see if this works out it's looking a little funny right now I don't know how the hell am I supposed to do this I've seen people do it with a hairbrush all right I think we're just gonna keep it like this all right I'm just gonna keep it like that that's that and I'm gonna try and do something on this side Okay, I think that's it. Um, <laughs> this is looking so bad right now. Um, I think it looks really bad. This is one of the hairstyles. It's just plain. I basically twisted it. So it's like, I guess you can call it twisties. Last one is on this side. I don't know if you guys can clearly see that. All right, you go open your eyes now. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> the hell? What do you mean with the hope? With my baby hairs or just the hairstyle itself? The baby just the hairstyle. Hair right? mm -hmm. Just the hairstyle. Just the hairstyle? Oh, I thought you meant my baby hairs. I've never seen this You never one seen before. this one before? Yo, my mom would always do this all the time. Sometimes she would tie my hair into a ponytail. So I'm going to do that very quickly. It looks better in ponytail? Yeah. That's basically the last hairstyle. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you guys give this video a like. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.